In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I consider that the sufferings of this present time are as nothing compared with the glory to be revealed for us. For creation awaits with eager expectation the revelation of the children of God. For creation was made subject to fertility, not of its own accord, but because of the one who subjected it in hope that creation itself would be set free from slavery to corruption and share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. We know that all creation is groaning in labor pains even until now. And not only that, but we ourselves who have the first fruits of the Spirit, we also groan within ourselves as we wait for adoption the redemption of our bodies. For in hope we were saved. Now hope that sees for itself is not hope. For who hopes for what one sees? But we hope for what we do not see. We wait with endurance. The word of the Lord. Be the Lord has done marvels for us. When the Lord brought back the captives of Zion, we were like men dreaming. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with rejoicing. The Lord has done for us. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad indeed. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the torrents in the southern desert. Those that sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. The Lord has done for us. Although they go forth weeping, carrying the seed to be sown, they shall come back rejoicing, carrying their sheaves. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said, What is the kingdom of God like? To what can I compare it? It is like a mustard seed that a man took and planted in the garden. When it was fully grown, it became a large bush and the birds of the sky dwelt in its branches. Again, he said, to what shall I compare the kingdom of God? It is like the yeast that a woman took and mixed with three measures of wheat flour until the whole batch of dough was leavened. The Gospel of the Lord. Our author's uh, focus this morning, based on the readings we heard, is that we have faith, and there is more glory to come. This is just a little glimpse of what we have, faith, uh, our faith life. The glory 
that, that we're going to enter in, into someday can't even put into words. So that's what our author's reflecting on. In his time on earth, Jesus preached that the kingdom of God is at hand. He taught his disciples how to build the kingdom on earth by following his, his example of love uh, and the S word, sacrifice. The world does not like that word because the world doesn't want to sacrifice anything, especially personal sacrifice. But we will because we have a, a beautiful example of love and sacrifice, Jesus. So today's readings remind us that the work of discipleship leads to us, leads uh, to a greater glory to come. And it takes work. We have to do a little work. God, Jesus did a lot of work, didn't he? Uh, uh, in his passion and crucifixion. So the work that we're going to do, we're going to endure whatever, if it's a bad day, whatever. We're going to endure in the faith and, and have a deep hope. Because that brings purpose and meaning to life. You are disciples. You've endured a lot just getting here. It's kind of blustery out there, isn't it? And you have great hope. So uh, you're, you're uh, heading in the right direction. Okay, and, and we hear it in the readings. That first reading, St. Paul says, The glory to come will be greater than any suffering we face on earth. Uh, when we go to heaven, all the suffering we had on earth, we won't even remember. It'll just be glory and joy, pain-free. And then uh, to get there, we must have hope and endurance. And it's okay to pray for that. Pray for a deep hope and endurance. Actually, as a matter of fact, in our uh, uh, prayers of petition, we're going to pray for those gifts, that those are, are deepened in us. And then in the Gospel of St. Luke, Jesus compares the kingdom of God to a mustard seed or yeast that grows beyond measure. Uh, will all the work we're doing now, uh, and it may, may seem really tiny, but when we get to heaven, oh my, it's going to be glorious, glorious in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Together we stand, confident in God's care for us and all his creation. We place our prayers before him this morning. We pray for the Holy Church in her work to build God's kingdom on earth. May the Lord continue to bless her with wisdom and endurance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for peace and justice in our nations and across the world. May he who is acclaimed as beloved son dwell in the hearts of all. Let us pray to the Lord. For all those who struggle to find hope in their daily lives, may the Lord console them with his promises of greater glory to come. Let us pray to the Lord. <clears throat> we ask St. Joseph to help us deepen our own hope and endurance, even when we are suffering, that we always hope and endure to live with God for eternity. Let us pray to the Lord. For the members of our parish community, May the Holy Spirit enkindle in us a more perfect love for our neighbor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for all those who are sick and ill, especially those having surgery this week. Oh, gosh, a hip surgery, knee surgery. Some are having back surgery. We also want to pray for all those who are uh, living with cancer, going through treatments. I just blessed uh, a young lady going through uh, cancer treatments. Especially we want to pray for children who are living with cancer. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who have died, may the Lord lift their soul to eternal life with him. And we especially pray for all those who will die throughout this week. Let us pray to the Lord. And then in the quietness of our hearts, own personal prayers of additions to our Heavenly Father this morning. Let us pray to the Lord. And we pray our Mass intention this morning is listed for all the poor souls in purgatory. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving God, your Son announced that your kingdom was at hand. Please hear our prayers this day as we work toward your greater glory. We ask these things through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth and work of human hands, who become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, the fruit of the vine and work of human hands, who become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praise adds nothing to your greatness, but profits us for eternal salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy. Holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, God.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O oh Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs, 
we may one day possess in eternal truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended.